Hey folks, Paul Abernathy here. We got a short one for you today, so relax. We're going to show you something new from our website. So we came out with these new cards. They're called conductor length cards. Basically, you could say remaining wire cards if you want. And it is our simplified approach to being able to know how much wire you still have on a reel or how much uh, cable you still have in a barrel or maybe even on a reel like MC cable uh, or AC cable. If you kind of want to know, um, we've come up with our formulas to make it easy uh, and it's based on the resistance of the conductor. But unlike other uh, people that do videos that talk about using chapter nine, uh, table eight in the resistance for copper, of course, and you, and you want to use uncoated copper or you have the aluminum. Uh, the big difference is when people do that formula, they pull the value straight from the NEC. And you got to remember something. The copper's resistant values are based, if you go to the top, you'll see that it's based on 167 degrees Fahrenheit or 75 degrees Celsius. Well, we work in ambient temperatures. We work in Fahrenheit. So the, typically a conditioned space is about 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So when you're going to do a length calculation to try to determine how much wire or you're going to take a resistance reading, it's very much dependent on the ambient temperature or what the wire has acclimated to in the environment to get an accurate reading. For example, we've taken a thousand foot reel of THHN and the NEC says for 12 gauge solid that it should be 1.93 ohms per thousand feet. However, when you take the reading of a known thousand foot in an ambient temperature that is other than what's given in that table, then the ampacity is different, right? So the cooler it is, okay, the resistance changes and it goes down. So in this scenario is it wasn't 1.93. When we tested a thousand feet on 75 degrees, it was about 1.6 ohms per thousand feet. That's important because if you use the 1.93 in the formula and you don't adjust for the temperature, basically it says that that thousand foot roll really only has 825 feet on it. That's not accurate because we know for a fact there's a thousand feet on that roll. So when you're taking your service truck or your service and you want to know, okay, I got to make a run, I need to have the better chance of making sure that I have enough wire on this reel. It's just sitting there and no waste, you don't wanna waste anything. So we came up with this card and we broke the formulas down so it's so easy. You should have one in your wallet, your apprentice has one. Actually, you can put it in the truck and uh, right there next to your spare reels or your cable. So we broke it down on how to use this card. And on the back of this card, we already give you, okay, the ohms values per thousand feet. So then you obviously are just going to, on the front, follow the instructions, and you're going to break it down to find out what it is per foot. So basically take the value in the back, right? And you're going to divide it by a thousand, and that way you learn what it is per foot, and then you can apply that to the, the formula that we have on here, and it will be able to tell you about how much wire you remaining on a reel or how much cable you have. So it's really interesting. We show the 75, 85, and 90 degree because again, there's not much variation between the two. And obviously, um, when you go down and the temperatures get lower, then the resistance is gonna get lower. And you gotta account for that when you're doing the calculation. So we only give you these values because it's typically conditioned space and then as it gets a little hotter. Uh, so we don't really give you the cold ones, but you need to keep that in mind. Of course, when you get one of our cards, you can always reach out to us and say, hey, Paul, what's the modifier, okay, for 40 degrees Fahrenheit? And we're more than happy to give you that info. You can plug it into your card calculation. So on this card, first thing you really have to do is you have to have an ohm meter. And you have an ohm meter, you have to have access to each ends of the reel or each ends of the cable. And you're basically put your ohm meter and if yours is on auto, you're gonna put it on and you're gonna measure the ohms of the conductor through the entire length of the reel or through the coil of the wire, of cable. Once you have that value, then you come over here to your chart and a chart's gonna tell us, number one is measure the ohms in your conductor with an ohm meter, okay? We've done that. Next it says find the ohms per thousand feet. Go to the back side of here and based on your ambient temperature, you're gonna find out what your value is. 
You come to the front and says, once you have that, divide the value from two above, which is the ohms per thousand, divide it by a thousand. That's going to give you what it is per foot. Once you have it per foot, it says take the value in number one, which is the value that you measured on the reel, and divide it by the value in number three, which is the ohms per foot. And that's going to end up telling you exactly um, what your length is. Okay. Now, if you want to do corrections based on your temperature, you can do it yourself. You don't have to reach out to us. You don't have to use these. On the front, we actually give you the method to do the correction. It's difficult in the NEC. If you go to the notes in the bottom of Chapter 9, Table 8, those, those, those calculations get confusing. Don't worry. We simplified it for you and broke it down here. So you basically can do any uh, adjustment to the temperature you want based off of the values that are in the NEC at 167 degrees Fahrenheit. And we don't want to work in Celsius. We want to work in Fahrenheit when we're doing the length measuring or the doing a calculation for how much length we have, because it's very relevant to the ambient temperature, depending on what your omeric readings are going to be. So we give you that and we give you the formula right on here on how to do it yourself. So you can use our values in the back or you can calculate it out yourself. We give it all to you on this card. It's a thick card. It doesn't easily bend. It'll last in your wallet. It is great to have. So if you want one of these cards, they're available right now on sale at this website right here. All you do is go into the navigation, go to the shop, and then in the shop, look for engraved products under the engraved products. Of course, while you're there, you can look at our hats, our shirts, our t-shirts, our mugs, and all their other stuff. But we really want you to focus right there on this new card, the conductor length. Of course, we have voltage drop cards as well over there. And we have these voltage drop NFC cards as well that actually has an NFC that when you tap the phone, it'll actually bring up all of our calculators and our mobile app. So you have all these good things all over on our website. Of course, we still have our minimalist wallets as well. So if you're interested in it, check it out. But I just wanted to show you how this new conductor length card works. Till next time, folks, stay safe. God bless.